Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Seminatus and this video is how to convert a Valkyrie uh, with the wing swap and a few other bits and bobs as I went through the whole process, but mainly the wing swap. So I got this Imperial Guard Valkyrie a million years ago and it sat here not doing anything and I had a, a project in mind where I wanted it to be a cargo variant. I don't know why, I just wanted it to be carrying uh, a a netted load like you saw in sort of Vietnam and you know war movies like that and along the way um, it doesn't work out how I wanted it to but bear with me so you'll see that I'm priming everything black and then going for a sort of standard aircraft interior so it's like greys and then I'm going to do some uh, chipping and just make it look a bit used so this is the internals and everything's still on its frames to avoid getting any kind of fingerprints on uh, parts that I don't want to mucky, greasy fingerprints on. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the main chassis, if you like, the main fuselage, but I'm not going to put the roof on. Now, that allowed me to do a couple of things during the build, which you wouldn't have otherwise been able to do, including uh, getting the, the gunners in different positions and things like that. So this is probably the real reason you're here. So that's the standard wing configuration with the sort of triangular shape at the back or heading towards the boom. And this is what I'm trying to do. I prefer the look of the Valkyrie with the triangle shape going towards the front of the aircraft. I just think it makes it real of cool, much cooler. So the first thing you're going to need to do is going to grab this wing here and take this tab off. So you just it's a simple cut and a nice little trim with your scalpel blade and uh, it almost fits in perfectly. There's just one little notch that you need to cut in the um, the actual boom, the part that it goes into. So it's a tiny little notch. You'll see it when you line up the parts. It just needs trimmed ever so slightly. It's, you know, I know I look like a health and safety nightmare here, but I was just trying to catch it on camera. because so I'd never seen a video like this before, so I wanted you guys to be able to do this um, without the drama. So there you go. I think that looks boss. This is the other wing and I'm having to remove the same tab on the other side. But there's also on this part here, there's a notch that fits in next to where the fueling cap is, <laughs> if, if you want to call it that. So you have to get rid of that notch as well. Um, it, it, that makes it sound like it's really complicated. It's super not. I mean, I did it. It's easy. So all you have to do is just think about um, that uh, notch. And you can see there on that wing, there's a piece that's stopping it from going in. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to cut the whole thing off. But I don't. You only have to cut to that level there. So it's like where that tab is. And bingo, there you go. It's really, really simple. And if I've done it, then you can absolutely do it. So I'm going for a sort of Vietnam type of colour scheme, I guess. So I've got a dark Russian base as my, so one of my favourite go-to colours. And then I'm going to go and try and leave the panel lines. So I'm being quite careful to avoid um, going over the panel lines to give me that sort of black panel line edging for free. And I've got my moss green here and I'm just going to go very carefully. I'm going to try and take it as close as I dare to the edge of the panel lines, but give me that highlight in the sort of main, main part of each individual panels. I also wanted to break up that green with uh, some yellow and white stripes. So the sensible thing to do is go white first and then mask off the bit that I wanted to remain white and then paint yellow over the white and it makes it much brighter than if you did it over the green. Very carefully peeling off that uh, masking tape there. I don't want to damage the paintwork. So I wanted to call this aircraft the Pineapple Express and the point of it was it was delivering you know, ammo and whatever to troops in the jungle. It was going to be a diorama, but I just suck at dioramas. So I just had to go for that. I put on two lines of masking tape to help me keep the wording, the lettering um, evenly spaced, which I think is a really good idea. And I just tried to do some freehand. I am not an artist. That would be my brother, who's an actual artist. Um, I'm just me. And you know what? It's not that bad. It's okay. It, it did what I wanted it to do. I put on some decals with some uh, bits and bobs there with the decal fix. 
And this is me. I made a, a contraption to make it look like it was holding a, a pallet in midair. Did it work? There you go. That's what it looked like. Um, I took some photographs here, not some video. Um, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. But ultimately, I got some feedback from some friends that they just didn't look great. So sadly, I decided just to put it on its normal flight stand. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. You may ask, why is it not all weathered and dinged up like I usually do with all my tanks? And... I don't really have a good excuse, to be honest. I just wanted it to be clean this time. There are a few sort of details that I quite like. One is I put the undercarriage up or the landing skids. I put them up, so I just didn't use the main supports that come in the kit. And I think that looks better. Uh, I changed the weapon option and I drilled out some of the rockets like it's fired some, some rockets there and put some black smoke on just to, to show that they'd been done. Overall, do you know what? My project didn't work. Um, it's just one of those sad things uh, you try as a modeler and not everything works but will it look okay in the display cabinet? yeah sure, that's fine it's absolutely fine um, but I hope you really try and get a Valkyrie kit and move the wings so that the, the, the leading edge is the, the cool looking edge rule of cool wins so thanks very much guys and um, who knows what will be next if you've got any ideas let me know Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.